Okay, so get this, Ellen DeGeneres, the queen of daytime TV, you know, dancing in her studio, all that sunshine and California vibes. Well, she's gone across the pond. Yeah, she's treated Hollywood for the English countryside. Swapped red carpets for cobblestones. I mean, can you imagine ditching those A-list parties for a pint down at the pub with like James Blunt and Jeremy Clarkson? This is all from a recent article we found, and honestly, it's a wild story. So we're going to dive into it. We're talking a massive real estate deal, a total brand makeover, maybe even a new do get ready, because we are going deep on why Ellen decided to swap the Hollywood Hills for those rolling English hills. I think what's really striking here is just the sheer scale of this move. I mean, they didn't just downsize. They sold their Montecito mansion for a cool $96 million. We're not talking just moving up here. This is like a complete 180, a total lifestyle shift. And then they go and buy this charming place in the Cotswolds. It's like $7.7 .7 million estate. For those who don't know, the Cotswolds is this area in England known for these, you know, storybook villages and yeah fair share of famous residents. And the article actually quotes an insider who says, Ellen wanted peace, privacy, and a fresh start. The UK felt like the right move. That kind of hints at something more, you know? It's not just about a change of scenery. It sounds like she wants to distance herself from the whole Hollywood scene and like really redefine what home means to her. Yeah, it definitely seems like they're settling in. The article even mentions them hanging out at this local pub called The Farmer's Dog, owned by Jeremy Clarkson, of all people. Can you picture that Ellen and Portia just casually having pints with Lisa Hogan, James Blunt, Natalie, and Bruglia even? The cores were there? It's such a contrast from those swanky Hollywood bashes we're used to seeing them at. It makes you think maybe they're looking for something more genuine, a real connection, something that maybe they felt was missing in that whole superficial Hollywood world. Yeah, it makes you wonder why now? What was the catalyst for such a drastic change. The article kind of touches on this idea that maybe she's not happy with US politics, especially after Trump, you know, all that. And that's where it gets really interesting because think about it, Ellen's always been known for that be kind message. She never really got political on her show. So for her to make a move like this, it's a pretty bold statement. Some people see it as her kind of like withdrawing from these important discussions. But then you have her supporters who are saying she's putting her money where her mouth is, you know, actually walking the walk. It really raises some questions about the role celebrities play in all this political stuff and whether actions actually speak louder than words. And you can't really ignore the whole elephant in the room, right? I mean, those workplace allegations that came out about her show in the last few seasons really tarnished her image. This move to the UK almost feels like a strategic way to kind of rewrite that narrative. Think about it. She's going from the constant spotlight to a quieter life. The article even suggests she might be gardening and raising chickens. That's about as far away from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood as you can get. It makes you wonder if this is her way of taking back control of her image and showing people a more authentic side of herself. It's definitely a compelling theory, right? Is this Ellen trying to redeem herself, show the world a different side? Or is she genuinely craving a slower pace of life away from all that scrutiny and pressure that comes with being a celebrity? Honestly, it could be a bit of both. <laughs> this move could be a smart way to rehab her brand, a chance to rebuild trust and connect with people on a deeper level. I mean, authenticity is huge these days, and Ellen's move could be her way of showing that she's committed to personal growth and change. You know? mm -hmm. uh, and, and we can't forget about the makeover. The article even mentions that Ellen's ditched her signature blonde bob for a brunette pixie cut. It's like a whole new look, right? A real departure from that you know, that familiar on-screen persona. It's almost like she's shedding that old Ellen the One tied to all the drama and pressure of Hollywood and starting fresh, you know. It really emphasizes that this move isn't just about a change of scenery, it's a complete transformation. Yeah, it's wild how a haircut can be so symbolic, right? Yeah. But let's be real here. The Cotswolds might be a world away from Hollywood, but it's not exactly like she's gonna be anonymous. Remember we were talking about all those other A-listers who live there, Victoria Beckham, Damian Hurst, even King Charles? Exactly. Yeah. It's a different kind of celebrity scene though, right? It's more about being part of the community, less about all that flash and more about a shared appreciation for a simpler life. Instead of those you know, red carpet premieres, they'll be at the local farmer's market or maybe some charity event at the village hall. It's a totally different set of values. It's like moving away from that whole Hollywood obsession with fame and fortune. It is kind of like they're trading in the spotlight for a chance to be part of something smaller. Yeah. You know, yeah. more genuine, more authentic. It makes you wonder if maybe they're searching for a sense of belonging that goes beyond all that superficial stuff that comes with being a celebrity. Maybe it's about connecting with people who value them for who they are, not for their fame or money. That's a really good point. I think it speaks to this like basic human need for connection, you know, to find a community where you can just be yourself without all that pressure to perform. 
And maybe that's what Ellen's looking for in the Cotswolds, that sense of belonging that you just don't get in Hollywood. It could be her way of saying, I'm done with the fake stuff. I want to live a real life with people who value being genuine. Yeah, it's almost like closing a chapter. Yeah. You know, one that isn't working for her anymore. And I think that's what people relate to. You see someone like Ellen who seems to have it all, the fame, the money, platform to speak her mind, but she's choosing to walk away from it all, to find something different, something more. It really makes you think about what's actually important in life, right? It really does. You know, Ellen's story, no matter what her reasons are, really gets us thinking about the cost of fame and why a simpler life seems so appealing. It challenges us to look at our own values. What do we consider success? What makes us happy? Are we chasing after what other people think or are we trying to live a life that's true to ourselves? It's something we all struggle with at some point, you know? And there's something powerful about seeing someone like Ellen, who's accomplished so much, willing to step back and redefine success for herself. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not about the size of your house or who you know, but about finding peace and privacy and connecting with people on a deeper level. Mm -hmm. Who knows, maybe she'll write a book about raising chickens in the Cotswolds. No, that would be a bestseller for sure. But whether this move is permanent or just a temporary escape, it's clear that Ellen's on a journey of self-discovery. And that's what makes it so fascinating. It reminds us that even those who seem to have everything are still searching for something more. It's a reminder that we're all constantly changing, reassessing what's important to us, and looking for new paths that align with who we're becoming. So the question remains, will this move to England really be a fresh start for Ellen? Will she be able to rebuild her brand, find that peace and privacy she's looking for? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, Ellen's story, just like all of ours, is a mix of ambition, vulnerability, and a constant search for meaning and connection. Whether she finds that peace in the Cotswolds or goes back to the Hollywood lights, her story reminds us that life is all about evolving and changing. And sometimes the best path is the one that leads us back to ourselves.